So we just received back our first ever Beckett returns and I'm so excited to see how we got on with our grades because we submitted some incredible cards. I'm talking gold stars. We got the Regirot Registeel, we got the legendary dogs, even the Espion and Umbreon from Pop Series 5 were in this returns. So let's rip into it. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel and welcome to our first ever Beckett Returns video. We've never submitted to them before. This is our first one and it is a good one because it is full of gold stars. We've got the Espeon and the Umbreon from Pop Series in here as well as a ton of other ones. You are going to absolutely love it. But before I actually show you those grades, I do want to give a huge shout out to Black Label Grading. So Black Label Grading are a middleman service for Beckett based here in the UK. So you essentially send your cars that you want to get graded by Beckett to them and they will send them off to Beckett for you and they will deal with all the customs and everything and they can get sort of bulk discount prices and stuff like that. And actually, I've got to say, the service that that Black Label offered was amazing. Honestly, they you ne you always felt safe with your cards. You know, imagine with valuable cards like this, sending them to them, always felt extremely safe. You got emails updating you, the whole process and steps along it. Really easy to send stuff into them. The price was awesome as well. We did the Ruby version, which was fifty pounds a card, and we got the cards back in like two months. Like honestly really good service great website customer service is awesome i really put them right up there top top middleman service here in the uk so if you yourself want to use beckett to grade your cards do not look any further than black lib grading honestly i highly rate them and actually a lot of people in the community that i know use them a lot as well and they've raved about how good they are so you know they come with a lot of good backing and no they have not sponsored me for this video to tell you. I just think give credit where credit is due. And if someone's doing a great job, then shout about it and praise them. They really should. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Black Label for getting all the cars back safe and sound and for just offering a great service. And if you want to use them, I will link them in the description down below. Or you can go and hit them up on their Instagram if you've got any questions or anything you want to find out more about it. Go and message them over there. They're really good at responding. Right, let's get it open then, shall we? So... Uh, as you can see, one of these hasn't got a little sticker covering the grade on it. So basically, Back Label did this for me. They put stickers over it because I was like, I don't want to know what grade you're getting because there's colours that coordinate to the grade you get. I didn't want to see them, so we've asked them to be hidden. One of them I had a little sneak peek at already. The grade on it is incredible. It's an umber and gold song. Absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, so thank you to Black Label for going that extra mile. There's their information as well. Remember, I will chuck a link in the description if you want to go and submit to Beckett via Black Label Grading, which I highly recommend. If you are going to use Beckett, go for these guys right here. And there they are, came packaged, fantastic. I'm going to slide it off and we're going to bring them in and see how we got on. So I've paused it right here, guys, because I've noticed during editing there's an error on three of the labels. The question is, though, can you notice what those errors are? They're quite glaringly obvious once you've spot them. Let me know in the comments down below if you can see them. But I do need to give a big shout out once again to Black Label Grading at this point because I told them about the error. They've said just send the cards back to them. They'll get them back to uh, Beckett, get them relabeled completely free of charge and do it on the fastest turnaround service possible. So once Beckett received the cards, we should have them back within like two to three weeks so amazing service once again from black label massive props for that one but yeah let me know in the comments down below if you can spot where those errors are okay so the first one is the legend maker mew now i can't actually get i was trying to get this off i can't so i've had to cut down the side of the team bag here to be able to access it and see what the grade is but i remember sending this and i was really confident that we were going to get a really solid grade for this one a beautiful card as you can see here look at that everything looks amazing about it like i don't see like any whitening or anything like i know black labels are hard but i was really hoping we at least get a 10 for this i really think um but i guess we're gonna find out so we'll tell you what we're doing from the back see i gotta rip the bag okay okay so i don't think that's a black label if it's gold on the back i think it has to be black on the back as well as the front uh shall we do that okay so it could be a 9.5 question is is it a 10 it's a 9.5. Oh, I really thought we'd get a 10. Look at that. 9.5 for centering. A 9 for corners. Mm, is it because that's maybe got a slight point? Very slight point, but it's super clean. Oh, man. that I really thought we'd get a 10 on that. To be honest, a 9.5 on that is actually a really good score. Beckett are oh, pretty harsh, I have to say. And um, the more I see Beckett slabs, actually, 
the more the more I am liking them, to be honest with you guys. What do you guys think of Beckett Slaps, by the way? It's my big question to you. Let me know in the comments down below. Interested to see what you've got to say. But there's our first one there. Look at that swirl in it as well. Absolutely beautiful card. Right, so slab number two is the Alakazam Gold Star. I told you. Rest from here on out, by the way, it's all gold stars. That's our first one that wasn't. We did one card that wasn't. Everything else is gold stars here. And uh, this one is a beauty. And again, I think it's like, I'm not seeing much going on, on the surface. There is a little bit of chewing up on this back edge. I'd like to think we could still maybe push an eight from this card, you know. I'm hoping we can. So let's let's see. We're gonna we're gonna open it like right. So it's got a silver label on it. Oh look, that opened a bit easier. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna see. Okay, silver label on there. The question is, how did it do? An 8.5! Oh, get in! Okay, so literally it was the edge there that really brought it down. Edge and centering. I guess the centering's off a little bit. So you've got 8.5 centering, corners 8.5, edge. Do you know what? Surface 9.5. The surface was clean. I thought it was. That is a 8.5 is a very good grade, actually, on a gold star, I have to say. Gold stars are like among the rarest of Pokemon cards you can get. These were like, you weren't guaranteed a gold star per booster box back in the day. It was like one per six booster boxes on a gold star. So the rarity on them was high. And people weren't really collecting as much as they were around EX era either. So the print runs just weren't as high either. Next up, we have the Mewtwo gold star. Okay, how was that looking? Let's have a look. I think that's not too bad. Like, if I think that that got that one got an 8.5. I don't know. Could we could we be looking at like a again? I'm hoping for at least an eight on this. So uh, let's see if I can get this label off the bat. Okay, the label's coming. Okay, so we've got another silver label in here. Question is, is it an 8.5? I don't know when it changes color again. So we're gonna see how we get on here. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's just flip it. Oh, it's a nine! <laughs> yes! Okay. Oh, these are really good grades, like honestly. Um, oh my, I'm so happy. Look, centering 9.5, corners 9, edges 9. Surface was the thing that let it down. Is there some, like, can you see? Is it anything in the hollow in particular? I don't think so. Oh, that's, I feel like. I'm not seeing much on the set. Is there a white dot just here, actually? And there might be a little dot on the blue that might have taken out. A nine. Oh, oh this, is, this is going well. This is going well. Right. Another gold star. We've got the Reggie Rock. Again, what was this looking like? This is not too bad. Again, like, judging by the Mewtwo, I think, again, I feel like, I want to say, again, at least maybe an 8.5, I'm going to say on this one. Um, I've been really underestimating the card conditions on these, just because you don't want to get your hopes up and stuff. But let's um, let's see. So we're going to go and take the... Uh, okay, so we've got another silver label. So no gold label on it. But is it going to push the 9? Is it an 8.5? Um, right, here we go. Oh, it's a 9 as well! Oh, <laughs> no way! Oh, my God! This is incredible. I absolutely love that. Oh my god. A nine. So we've got nine on the centering, nine on the corners, 9.5 on the edges, and a nine on the surface. We are getting some really solid grades actually out of these, and they do look super clean. It'd be interesting to know how stuff like this would cross grade at PSA, whether they'd push a 10, you know, with some high subgrades like that. A 9.5 in there, would it push it? Not sure. Now, just before I get into doing any more of these, I just want to let you know that all the cards you have seen me open so far and all the ones to come up, they're actually all going to be going up for sale over on our website. So make sure to go and check it out. I'm going to go and link it in the description down below. Go and check out all the cards up for sale there. They'll include all these graded cards and a ton of other ones as well. So go and check them out. You could be getting your hands on these very cards that you've seen in this video. Yeah, so check it out. The link is in the description, guys. Right, shameless plug out of the way there, guys. We are on to a Reggie Steel now and man the way this has been going I'm, I'm honestly really blown away now I would say I don't think the surface looks as good you've got a little black dot here on that on this one and a bit of whitening in this bottom edge there and there so I'm not sure I wonder whether this is going to keep that real high run like the lowest we've got so far is what an 8.5 
Uh, I wonder what we're gonna get here. Let's see if I can get this off first. Right, okay. A little bit of fighting for it, but I got in there and we have another silver label. So that means it's gonna be at least an at least an eight on a silver. It doesn't go down to like a bronze when it gets lower than that. And let's just go for it. An 8.5 on the Registeel. Yeah, I did think and look at that. Yeah, edge is eight and the surface is an 8.5. So you can see why it got brought down a bit. But again, beautiful. Gold stars are just something else. They really are. The prices on these as well is starting to really, really climb. Okay, we have a big one. We got a Szechuani. Yeah, I know a lot of you are going to be triggered by that. We have the Szechuani or Suicune Gold Star. Of course, I know it's not. It's just my thing, guys. Just, just let me have this one. Right, uh, beautiful card. Again, amazing. There's a swell, like a double swell behind it. Can you see this in here? Oh, absolute thing of beauty. Awesome. How was the condition on this? Not looking obviously can't see the top part, but it looks pretty good. Oh that didn't that didn't work. Alright, so we got another silver label on this as well. And by the way, don't hold by the way, black label, just to say they don't normally put the tape across it. I asked them to do this. Normally it would come in the bag and it would look really nice and tidy. But I wanted to have the colours covered over, as you can see, guys. Um, it's just unfortunate that the tape is that good that it's it just won't come off the plastic. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got another and this is looking. Am I confident enough to say a nine on this? 8.5. It's a nine! <laughs> yes! Nines across the board! I underestimate my... I, I'm always so like... I don't like to be over... And that is an absolute beauty. Like, honestly, we got some crazy values in these cards. Like, I already know what one of the values of one of those, these cards is potentially at right now. And it's like, we're talking... I think like five grand potentially for one of the cards in here. Like it's honestly nuts value. Incredible. Um, okay, so it's time for the Reiku. And I think we've been doing extremely well. Now, now then, the Reiku though. I definitely don't think the Reiku. I think this is the one that's got the possibility of being one of the lowest grades we've got here. Because it's definitely got some edge wear around the edge there. And I don't know what's the surface like on the front. I don't know, it might still go right. I think the edge is going to bring this down. So I think I think it would be good if we could get an 8 on this. But uh, could we get lower? Okay. So, yes, we did. We didn't get an 8 because can you see it's a different color label? I believe that's what it is because that's white. So let's see what we got on this. And we got an... Oh, okay. So hang on. So an 8. So it's 8.5 is silver. And then an 8 goes to a white label. I did not know that. Why did I not know that? I thought he went to like bronze. What that that I feel I feel such the fool. But yes, we gone and actually that's still a solid grade. And as you can see, look at that 9.5 centering and 8 for corners, 8.5. Like it was close to being an 8.5 actually on this. One more point five on one of those. I think it would have ticked it up to an 8.5. So like that's really close. That's actually very, very nice. And actually I quite like the white label in comparison. Like look at the gold one on there. I kind of like the white label myself. I don't know about you guys. What do you think? Okay, lowest grade so far is an eight, and that's pretty good. I kind of budgeted to see some sevens, if I'm honest. I did. I was really skeptical. But now we've got the Entei. Another swirly boy in there. You know, we love a swirl on the channel. This definitely looks better than the Reiku. So this has got a chance of still having a silver label, I think. Question is, can we get any more gold labels? You know, can we see something? Push that 9.5 to join that Mew. I'm not sure. Is this going to do it? No, we've still got the silver label on it. Silver on that one, but still solid grade. Let's see what it got. A nine. Oh my word. Like, honestly, this is going so well. Oh, look at those subgrades as well. 9.5, 9.5, 9, and a nine. Wow. Cool. So we're on the Flareon now. Uh, so this again. Uh, what's this? Unseen Forces, was it or something? Oh, this one, guys, has got a white label. So we are looking... Is it an 8? Is it something lower? It's an 8. Oh, look at that. What sh Two 9.5s. It was the corners. And I can see why. Look, can you see this corner here? It's like over-rounded. And that's what's brought that grade down. And... Um, Ah, oh, that is it. Oh, it's Power Keepers. Yeah, did I say Power Keepers? What? 
Oh, I said Unseen Forces, didn't I? Okay, Jolteon time. And uh, I think the centering was a little bit off on this. Yeah, it is a little bit off. And there's a tiny couple of marks on the edging. Question is, can we get up there still with the grades? Can we, Kate? Okay, so, okay, so no white label. We've got silver on here. Look, <laughs> having to destroy the seat. Good job we got a ton more of those, eh? Right, question is, what's it gonna be? A nine on the Jolteon, oh my word. Nine, nine, 9.5, and again, amazing subgrades across the board on one of these cards. Right, Vaporeon time, and then two more after that, the two pop series gold stars as well the espion and the umbron are coming up next guys you're not going to want to miss them right vaporeon gold star how are we doing okay we are looking pretty good actually this is pretty this has got a good chance of being up there pushing it's definitely going to be a silver label i'm calling it now i'm confident looking at that i can't see any indents or anything to really knock it down so i'm going to call that that's at least a silver question is can we get any higher than that Yes. We got higher. We got higher than that. We got a gold label on it. Okay, question is, what's it going to be? Okay, is it going to be... It's a 9.5! Yes! Oh my god, look. Nearly 9.5s across the board on it as well. Gem Mint. Can you see, look. Beckett give Gen Mint for a 9.5, whereas like, yeah, that Gen Mint is a 10 at PSA and stuff, isn't it? You know, so this, these are really high grades, very high. Okay, so we are on to the last two cards, and this is the big, these are the big value gold stars, the Espeon and the Umbreon being the most valuable one. I think of the lot, it's up there with the Charizard and the Rayquaza, isn't it, the Umbreon? Is it potentially even more? I think maybe the Gold Star Charizard is the most valuable. But absolutely stunning. Espeon Gold Star. I think it's not too bad. It's got mm, it's got some edging. I don't know if we... Hmm. Are we going to push a silver label at least on this? Let's, let's see how we get on. Okay. All right. What's it going to be? Oh, it's still silver on the label. Okay. That, that we very much take on there. Silver on the label. 8.5 at least then. Are we pushing a 9? 8.5 on that. 8.5 on the Espeon. 9 for the centering. 8 for the edges. Yeah, I thought the edges might bring it down. 9 for the surface. Surface is great. Being a non-hollow, it should get a pretty good... You know, you're less likely to get the scratches on the surface there. But yeah, you can see that top edge would have brought it down. 8.5 on a card like this is incredible. This card, what? This is 15 years old now, this card as well crazy they came out in the flimsiest tiniest little packs as well so easily damaged so to get high grade on that is beautiful okay now here is the big boy this is the gold star umbra the real gold star umbra none of that celebration malarkey this is the real thing okay guys last sold on this in a psa 9 was like four and a half grand ish or something around that mark that was a while ago as it stands i don't think anyone's got one of these up for sale on the market definitely not in a beckett and definitely not in the grade that we've got it in guys so here we go let me show you boom a nine nine point five nine nine and a nine point five across that it's been given a nine mint absolutely stunning and you know what it is really really nice and clean as well the, the only bit of it like where it seems to be down here towards the bottom but overall, an incredible score across that. And nine to go along with the 8.5. So nice close scores in that as well. And I think we were clever enough to get all sequential certs and everything we sent, which is nice. So people trying to buy the pairs. So there we go, guys. Our first ever Beckett returns. And I tell you what, that was a banger. All those gold stars. Some really, so many nines we got in the end there, guys. We actually got one, two, three, four, five, six nines, two 9.5s, three 8.5s, and two eights. We got more nines than anything else. Incredible. But what did you think, guys? And what was your favorite card that I showed you here today? Let me know in the comments down below. I really look forward to seeing what you guys have got to say. And remember to go and check out our website if you want to get your hands on these very cards. They will be on there. Not sure how long they're going to last on there. We shall see. See if they go quickly or not. But make sure to go and check them out on our site. I'll link it down in the description down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.